let's hear because I don't even much remember what she had done said, but she said something. She talking to you ladies. Here you go. How good of a woman you are, you'll never be good enough for a man who simply isn't ready or a man who simply doesn't see you as the woman he wants to be with. You can cook that man's food in diamond oil and serve it to him on a golden platter. You can be the freakiest woman you want to be in that bedroom, and if it's not you, it still won't be you. Men know what they want, so it's not rocket science. We go so hard as women trying to prove our worth to these men that we forget that they still need to prove that they're worthy of us. We do all these wifely duties for a man who doesn't even belong to us, and then when we end up heartbroken because we fell in love with the idea of what we wanted him to be, when he never even showed you that from the beginning, he never gave you the idea that he wanted to be with you. His actions never matched his words, but still you fell in love, and you got your heart broken, and now you blaming him. We got to start taking accountability for our own heartbreaks because what you allow is what will continue. And until we break that cycle, why would a man commit when he already has all the perks? It's just, it's. That's what she had done said. Let's go on, run your back, baby, real quick. How good of a woman you are, you'll never be good enough for a man who simply isn't ready or a man who simply doesn't see you as the woman he wants to be with. A man who simply isn't ready. What does that mean? I've been hearing that shit for a long time because he just don't want you. He just don't just want you. He ain't ready. He ain't ready for what? He with you. He gave that monk up. He done gave you that meat. He with you, baby. He just don't only want you. So what is being ready for? Bag up, because I like the little second piece you said. Oh, here you go. Ready, or a man who simply doesn't see you as the woman he wants to be with. Now, that's what you should have. No, 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 no. He, damn it. If he's just there for the moment, you got a point. But y'all picking him. I understand what she's saying. If he don't want you to be here, little la la, and he's just trying to smash a little something, then it is what it is, shout, shout. You know what I'm saying? She making a good point, but go ahead. You can cook that man's food in diamond oil and serve it to him on a golden platter. You can be the freakiest one. Let me stop you with the food thing, because a lot of y'all is fucking around using adobe seasoning. I'm just saying. You got to sprinkle some lorries on that shit, man. That's why a lot of y'all be getting left. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all think because y'all cook that y'all know how to cook. Just because you ain't burn, just because you ain't burn the noodles don't mean you know how to cook. And I know, I know, you've been told food is the fast way to a man's heart. Actually, it's not. It, 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 it's that monkey. It's that monkey. <laughs> it's that mouthpiece. Without arguing about it. You go. Tell me you want to be in that bedroom, and if it's not you, it still won't be you. Me she right by that. If the it, it, damn it, if he just don't want you, just don't want you. Period. Point blank. But y'all do us like that a hell of a lot, though, <laughs> ladies, babies. Y'all do us like that a hell of a lot, cause y'all are just smashing then go player. Because you was on yo, I ain't settling down shit. Which is cool. Just saying. But when the roles is reversed. <laughs> don't get upset, babies. They know what they want. So it's not right. I like what you say. We know what we want. A lot of times because we ain't had no goddamn daddies, no mentors, stuff like that. We don't know how to express that we just want to smash. We just want to kick it for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we got to tell you that we go together. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because by not being properly trained out here as a player in the goddamn streets, they don't have the cojones, big word, the balls, the sack to tell you, baby, I want you and somebody else. You ain't the only one. I like all you. You know what I'm saying? Like a science. We go so hard as women trying to prove our worth to these men. And what is your worth, baby? Because if cooking and cleaning is is your worth, then all then y'all got the same worth, pretty much. If you saying worth is cooking and cleaning, what is over seventy percent of y'all overweight? Cooking ain't the problem. Everybody can't cook, but y'all cooking something and you're eating something.
cooking really ain't. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, and we forget that they still need to prove that they're worthy of us. Prove that a man don't have to prove to you that he worthy. Well, let me take that back. The only men that got to prove that they are worthy is the ones who is players and not true players. See, because a true player got his shit together. True player got his own jurisdiction. True player is already there. He just trying to get a teammate. That's all he doing. He just a little la la. I don't know why y'all really don't when when y'all picking the ones that got to prove some shit to y'all. You done already fail. Poor monkey management. We do all these wifely duties. Girl, did you say wifely do? Listen, cooking and cleaning, baby. Cooking and cleaning and hunching. That, that, that. That's human duties, baby. But y'all put this wife wife thing on. Shit is a relationship. Uh, that's all it is. For a man who doesn't even belong to us, and then when we end up hard. But you gave your coochie to a man that's not married to you. Because you're throwing out, y'all do the wifey duties for a man that's not even yours. But you was willing to get your coochie up to a man that wasn't even yours. I don't know. Heartbroken because we fell in love with the idea of what we wanted him to be. Why don't y'all start picking the man that you really want then? It ain't hard to find out a person that's not uh, what you want that person to be. It ain't hard. It's like you can see this shit on the first day. You know what I'm saying? Phenomenal woman. <laughs> Say I like the pancakes though. Yeah, baby. Li, 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 li. Yeah. You're doing your wifey duties, but cross your chest, baby. <laughs> that was your decision. When he never even showed you that from the beginning. He never. If he didn't show you that from the beginning, baby, how you fall in love? Gave you the idea that he wanted to be with you. His he never gave you the idea he wanted to be with you. So how you fall in love? Actions never match his words. But you said he showed you he never wanted to be with you. Now actions don't add up to his words. But still you fell in love. Yeah, why? Why did you fall in love? I'm explaining to you why you fell in love. Because that's actually the one that you actually want. And you got your heart broken and now you blaming him. We got to start taking accountability for our own heartbreaks. I like that right there. Y'all got to start taking accountability for your own heartbreaks. Yeah. You saw that what you wanted, it wasn't there, but you only fell in love because you actually did want that. See, a lot of y'all say things out y'all damn mouth that y'all really don't be. It's kind of like the, all my religious folk, all my Christian atheists. Y'all claim to be believers, but y'all don't follow shit out of that goddamn book. Except for don't don't kill. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's probably it because you just ain't never been in a situation where you had to go and don't knock somebody out. Just saying. Because what you allow is what will continue. She right by that. And that go for everybody. Whatever you allow, that, however you allow a person to treat you is the way that a person going to treat you. They're going to keep trying. And until we break that cycle, why would a man commit when he already has all the perks? Could, could, what is all the perks? Because the only perk that really matter, matter is that monkey, baby. So basically what you're saying is you shouldn't be giving up your monkey until you are married, I guess. That's probably what you're saying. She's been through heartbreak. Like the majority of us. You really ain't lived until you've been through heartbreak. See, real talk. See, I empathize with the young men nowadays. We have to pick from these females. Yeah, like. I like the accountability part, <coughs> but that shit that crossed your chest, baby, I can't take it to a function like that, sugar. I'm just gonna put some makeup over that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But you thought that that shit that was cute because you were following the trend from other babies out here in the community. You thought he was what you had done wanted, but he showed you in the beginning that he wasn't who you thought 
he was who you wanted. This shit confusing like I'm just trying to tell you something. Say love will get you killed and getting killed will get you love. All right. That, that, that mean, I like that though. Man, put that down on the shirt. I appreciate that right now. Shout out to Beverly for the $20 cash app. I appreciate that right now. I'm going to go ahead and let her run just a little bit more. How good of a woman you are, you'll never be good enough for a man who simply isn't ready or a man who simply doesn't see you as the woman he wants to be with. Is it that we ain't ready or is it that y'all ain't ready to deal with the type of man that y'all picked and fell in love with? You can cook that man's food in diamond oil and serve it to him on a golden platter. You can be the freakiest woman you want to be in that bedroom. And if it's not you, it still won't be you. A lot of y'all think that y'all be freaky, but that WAP ain't WAP, baby. That monkey don't be hitting on shit. I'm, I'm trying to tell, I'm trying to help y'all. Bitches ain't doing no Kegel exercises, shit you been ran through. You know what I'm saying? You got a name in the street, which we know. That's probably why we holler at you in the first place, because we need some easy monkey tonight. You know, heard about you. You got this shit across your chest. You easy. Let me say that there one more time. You got them there across your goddamn chest. Shit all in your face. Shit all on your neck. You easy, baby. That's how we perceive you. And a lot of times we don't want that as that as a wifey. A lot of folk don't want that there. But y'all make the decision to go ahead on and. Fuck up your body. Keep doing what you're doing. As long as you can deal with the decisions that you're making, continue to do it. See, I'm giving free titty, booty, and thigh tattoo to every Friday night. There it is. Men know what they want. so it's not I like that part. We do know what we want. And it's typically that monkey. Shout out to Lucius for the $15 cash app. Say, still keeping it all the way 100%. You know, I try to do what I can do. I ain't got them. Not rocket science. We go so hard as women trying to prove our worth to these men. Y'all don't be trying to prove shit. Listen, all we doing is hunching and eating snacks and shit. The fuck? What is it? Prove what? What is you proving? That you different than the last chick we dealt with? Let me, let me, let me have a baby's eye. It's typically all the same. You might just do this a little different or that, but just like overall, it's, it's all the same, baby. But see, you don't deal with females, so like you wouldn't know that, or hell, you got to look like you do. Ain't no wrong with it. You know, it's a blessing from the Lord for y'all to be hugging, rubbing, and touching like that. that mm, just trying to tell you something. But it's only little things that separate separate the females it's the little thing it like like it's real little things and it's a shout list just saying because y'all doing a lot out of here while not being in a relationship i'm just saying something now but y'all give me head boot and cock like it ain't nothing y'all eating grocery and everything too and we just met <laughs> and we forget that they still need to prove that they're worthy of us we ain't got to prove shit what you talking to? We the prize, baby. We do all these wifely duties for a man who doesn't even belong to us. And then when we end up heartbroken because we fell in love with the idea of what we wanted him to be, when he never even showed you that from the beginning, he never gave you the idea that he wanted to be with you. His and it go back to why you fell in love. Why you kept dealing with somebody who showed you in the beginning? So I'm liking what she's saying when she just get to, we have to be held accountable. Actions never match his words, but still you fell in love and you got your heart broken and now you blaming him. We got to start taking accountability for our own heartbreaks because what you allow is what will continue. And until we break that cycle, why would a man commit when he already has all the perks? It's just, it's. I guess, baby. It's, listen, it's a learning process for all of us. You know, we live and we learn, sugar. That's really all that you can do. Or you can just pick a little better. We typically get in these type of relationships, which we, which they fall into domestic love relationships. Because we fall in love with the idea of potential of what they could be. But in essence, you really like the person that you pick. 
That's all it is. Y'all keep doing the same thing. Hoping for a different outcome. This is why y'all need guidance. Motherfuckers need guidance out here on earth. 